Um, I'd like to just uh, talk about our minds and how our mind works. Our mind works like a Fourier transformer. A uh, Fourier transformer is like a mathematical um, uh, concept. It's a device that the, uh, your television set uses to transform um, frequencies, um, electric electrical frequencies in the air. Um, like if NBC or CBC or CBS was to beam these frequencies flying through the air, it catches those through your antennas and it transfers into images and sounds you see on the television set. Well, that's how that's how our world works. That's how our mind works, actually, is that we're not actually seeing reality. We're actually seeing frequencies. We're actually seeing, hearing, and feeling the frequencies that our minds are transforming into reality. So basically, our minds are Fourier transformers. And uh, one time I had a really bad heart attack and I died and um, it took it took a while to get back to this living world but um, I was able to access all the frequencies that means all the dimensions in the in the universe the known universe and some people some physicists call it the God's module some physicists call it M theory or string theory which is vibrating theories in multiple dimensions um, CERN in Switzerland um, is the same thing. It's kind of like a big uh, collider that's trying to find these different dimensions. Um, I'm saying this, this is all true. Um, when I died, I, I found all this to be a fact. It was M theory and um, string theory was all a fact. Um, and I and I and I proved it not through um, uh, intellectual exercise, but actual experience. So I experienced all this. I actually went to all these dimensions, and I was I became a master of my own destiny. What I mean by a master of my own destiny means you become a master of what you see, feel, think, and experience as your reality. Because see, that's God's intention, was every human being was to create their own reality. Now, you could create a bad reality. I mean, if you have fear, then that will become your reality, and you could create a nightmare of a world. Or you could create a beautiful world where everything is harmonious and peaceful. And so I encourage everybody to do this because that is the true way out is to get out of fear and get into unconditional love. And the proof is out there like M theory, string theory, quantum physics. Um, if you ask anyone who's had has been dead and came back like a heart attack or cancer or car accident or um, any type of dying and then they come back, they'll, they'll tell you the same thing. They'll tell you what I tell you and basically that is there's love on the other side and that all this death and all this pain and suffering is an illusion and we're creating all of this through our minds and like I said um, you know we don't have to watch um, the spooky horror channel channel 5 or 6 we could turn the channel you could turn the channel anytime you want and you could and you, look, you could look at a different dimension and you could experience a different reality and it's our choice and so like I said I'd like you to know that um, that's how our mind works like a transformer it transforms frequencies and our eyes are just kind of like they're kind of like a lens through which we see the world but our beliefs and our, our, our knowledge you know colors what we see so you know a, a large percentage is what we see is is actually modified inside our brains as it goes to the back of our head where true you know uh, the true visual the visuals are um, it first gets transformed through our beliefs and what we know to be real and then that becomes reality um, it's kinda like the pink elephant in the room you know um, if you don't believe something's there it won't be there and if you don't if it's not in your reality you probably won't see it so maybe you need to see it first in your mind and then you can open your eyes and see reality and so that's what I'm saying is trust your intuition and um, I want you to trust me because I'm telling you this from my heart and I'm telling you this from my own experience um, dying and coming back and my intelligence um, in physics and in reality and how the mind works. Okay there, so I will go now.